Hey, what's up, fighters? Fireman1995 here, and welcome back to some more SRGP Legend. So, last time on SRGP Legend, we finished Zero Test, completing Class A and Class S. So, in this episode, we finally hop into the Grand Prix, and we're going to be starting on the Bronze Cup. So, anyway, before we begin, if y'all could do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video, I would really appreciate it. So, anyway, jump into the Grand Prix. Jeez, but, let me say something real quick. Well, you do notice that I have completed novice and standard mode for each cup, right? Well, here's my reason. I done this because expert class, which is what I'm going to be doing, has much different track than standard and novice track. Because when you're playing the expert class, you are playing a track that is a harder version, let's say that much. So, I just want to give you guys a heads up. So, for each track, I'm going to show the differential from the track itself. So, be sure to expect that. So, without further ado, let's begin. First stage. This is Tradition Park number two. Why is it number two? Because we have differentials, like I said. So, here are the differentials for the first and the second. Okay, so for my vehicle combination, or not combination, I guess I should say. For the vehicle I chose, I chose Moonshell Basaki Haruka because... It has a pretty good body, good boost, and, and grip. And it pretty much works the same way as Captain Falcon. So, I'm going to be using this vehicle for this first episode of the Grand Prix. So, yeah. Also, I should say, um, for this game, I believe... And I think this will apply to all the F-Zero games. I might be wrong, but, um, for this game, there, there, legend has it if that if you do crash, uh, five vehicles that count your kill, uh, you will get a spare machine, which you can see on the top left, where the ranking is. And I made a bad bump. And now just bump into the wall like crazy. But doesn't matter, it's just a little boo-boo, but yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to do expert mode just just to have like some competition going on where it's like not so boring in that. So I hope you guys uh understand that. I mean, yes I know I could have done uh standard mode, but I don't really have a reason for doing so, but yeah, there will be other information that I will be going over for a stage in which you can race on if you have a single equipment for your Game Boy, and which unfortunately I do not have. So, yeah, so some of you might get the general idea, some of you might not, but but yeah, so I am gonna look at and see who's in this race and who is not, but it's pretty much the same for majority of them. So, yeah. So, we got first place on this first race. And Byrex was is obviously in the race. So, he's in second. Mr. EAV, Zoda, Mighty Gazelle, Gomar and Sayo, Pico Beefman, Blood Falcon, Roger Buster, Billy Black Shadow, Aquaman, Rick Wheeler, James the Cloud, Jody Summer, Antonio Guster, Michael Chain, Baba, Drag, Mrs. Arrow, Lisa Brilliant, Kate Allen, Samurai Goro, Clash, Dr. Stewart, Captain Falcon, Super Arrow, Jack Levin, and John Kanika. So we got first place on that one. Guys, welcome to Junction 2, and I accidentally pressed it too fast, but I am going to showcase the differential on that stage. Three, two, one, fire. 
Oh, oh, and I should also mention, I forgot to say. So, anyway, what I forgot to say was, anytime you're doing a st standard mode or expert mode, and you get first place, the racers that are on the bottom three in the race uh, will be up front. That's a big heads up I want to give to you guys. So, yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't affect normal mode, or novice, I guess I should have said. But yeah, but most of these tracks in this game are pretty easy to do as long as you know how to negotiate with some of those turns. And Mr. EAD just, just got past me. He must have taken a shortcut or some sport in that. So anyway, two laps to go. We're doing very good. We're not bumping into too many walls like we did on the last episode, but yeah. So, I didn't sh show off standard because it wouldn't be too much of a competition if I did show that off. So, I hope you guys understand as well. But without further ado, I think, yep, we got first place. And once again, Byrus was right behind us that whole time. Okay, so I should also say right now is that... The top three racer or four racers that you see, uh, they will always be in the top four. For where others, they're not because it's pretty much random. So, so Captain Falcon, Doctor Stewart, Clash is gonna be up front on this next race, which is at Miss Flow Clip Oval number two. Time to show the stage Dur differential. So there you go. Anyway. Also, I should say, this was one of the stages that we didn't encounter in this story mode, but did on the Zero Test, I believe. But, yeah. And also, I, I should say as, right now as well that I freaking do not like Miss Flow because... I have a very, very bad vision with that track. Like, you'll see why in a second, because these people are just not having any problem passing me whatsoever. And unfortunately, I'm not very good with um, Miss Flow, because I really hate the fog effect on there. That is the one thing I hate the most about it. So, I might not get first on this one, I might so still, but I'm not very sure how this is going to go, but hopefully, hopefully I catch my opponent real soon. As long as I don't bump side to side of the walls like that. Uh, number three, who are you? You're Biorec. Uh, number two, I'm catching up to him. Or her. I don't think there's any females up front. It's just Biorec, uh, I think Captain Falcon and Dr. Stewart. At this rate. Yep, I see them all. And I just screwed up Dr. Stewart. <laughs> I really need to stop bumping into people. That's that's a bad habit for me to do right now. Stop bumping into my ass. That's not cool when you do that. Biorec. Oh goodness. I really don't think I'm gonna get first. I'll be surprised if I can manage to do so. But like I said. And I'm gonna say this one more time, I do not like Miss Flow, and I don't like its effect. Because, I can pretty much be blind at certain points. Which is 
yeah. The disadvantage that you could possibly get. So, there's my reason. But, I look like I still might have the chance to get first. And I did not get first because Zoda beat me. Just very little. Curse you, Zoda. But you know what? That's fine. As long as that, that one in fire wreck that beat me. But, yeah. <laughs> so, Mist Flow, I hate this map because it needs reduction of mist. But this, but this stage, however, that's pretty much an easy stage, but not the best. Anyway, number four, Lightning Balut number two. A little difference on that stage. So, let's check it out. There we go. Race number four, Lightning Balut. Huh. Samurai Goro, Kate Allen, and Lisa Brilliant up front. Uh, Samurai Goro's in first, recently, right now. But I, I'm pretty sure I can catch him. So, yeah. Oh goodness, this effect. That's actually Magnet, if you guys are wondering that. It, it, it's supposed to drag you down. Those are what those magnets are, if y'all are wondering that. And you know what? This Zoda is causing a distraction, so... I might have to crash him, I'm not sure. But the most important part is, I need to catch Biorec, or else it's gonna be impossible. Oh, goodness. Bye! Alright. And actually, come to think of this, this stage is actually not too bad. If you know what you're doing. You have to go. <sighs> see how see how competitive that is? That's why I wanted to that's why I wanted to do it. Just so I can make stuff like more interesting than that. That's pretty much all I gotta say really. Gosh, I can't resist this music. This is this music's too awesome. Too awesome to resist. Two laps to go. No one passed me on that lap, so that's good. As long as Fire Wreck and Zoda's right behind me, then that's good. And also, yes, I could have wrecked Zoda's ship since he's like a weak has a weak body, but I'm gonna spare him for now. Usually I like wrecking a ship. Fun fact. <laughs> Whee! And by the way, to pass me again. Get, 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 get over here. Oh, it, we could be in a bit of a problem if Byrek keeps it up this first place. So, so yeah, expect me not to get first place every time, but like that last one. But yeah. I missed. You failed it, Ted. You got a new booster. Give me that. And give me not Biorex up front. You got a new booster. And he just beat me. That's just great. But like I said, it's not gonna matter if I get first or not because I'm still gonna be up front. Nevertheless. Anyway. Sorry if I'm wasting time by scrolling down, but I'm just trying to see the like the results in that. And our last stage is Firefield Blast Track number two. This 
there's the track that has a huge difference. And I can show you why that is. Not as simple as you would expect to be. Expect it to be, I guess. Two, one, but yeah. So anyway. And, and also, to be honest, this is actually one of my favorite tracks in the game. Oh, goodness. This is not looking pretty with Bio Rack being up front and Zoda. Four laps to go. You got a new booster. Yeah, you know what? Ah, dang it, I missed. I was about to say, get the freak out of here, Zoda. I was literally just about to say that. But then I missed, sadly. Two laps to go. Thankfully, Bio Rack is not too far now. But to be honest, Biorex, uh vehicle is actually really good. Mm. If I had to give my opinion about his vehicle. And my god, you need to slow down. To go. You need to give up your lead now. It's time to give up. Mm. Damn, look, at, look how far Biorex is beating me. This is not good. You know what? Screw it. Damn it, I'm not gonna get first place. I I can however get second, which I'm still gonna beat by a wreck. <laughs> Or did I? We'll just have to find out. But I'm pretty sure I did. Yep. Only by sick point. I do it. <laughs> so, Bioric got second, Zoda got third, and Mr. EAD got fourth. All the other ones does not matter. So, there we, there we go. That is all for the Bronze Cup. And now we're just going to see how much time we got and what rank we got. And our total rank. After that episode. Ooh, Miss Flo, I hate that stage so much. Except that it's simple. Which is good. If I'm perfectly honest. But, yeah. I might have got more second than first, but... I say I did pretty good that episode. I could have done better, but that's like the better I'm gonna be But for this episode. But, yeah. And no, I don't want to look at the credit. So, yeah. So, so anyway, guys, that is going to be... Wait a minute. Hold on. That is not it for this episode, because we still got to show who we unlocked. Um, let me pull up my thing real quick, because I actually do not remember. So, yeah. Okay, so, anyway, the unlockable that you get, well, must you complete, uh, Bronze Cup in the novice mode, you will unlock the Space Angler, which, you can always do it higher, too. Um, the next one is, um, where are you? Ah, yes, Iron Tiger. So, anyway, must you complete Bronze Cup? in standard mode, you unlock Iron Tiger Baba. The one for the Bron for the novice is Leon, Space Angler. And for completing the expert on Bron Cup, you unlock Mighty Typhoon, Drac. So, yeah. So, that is who you unlocked if you complete 
V. So anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of F Zero Cheap Legend. So once again, thank you guys all so much for watching. And remember, if you have enjoyed this episode of F Zero Cheap Legend, you'd like to see the next episode. Don't forget to drop a like. Next time we do Silver Cup Expert Class.